We go to Egypt, where a woman was kicked, beaten and dragged through the streets. But she refuses to be silenced. CNN's Mohammed Jamjoum was granted access by the family. But I must warn you that some of the images you are about to see are upsetting. Even after the attack and two fractures to her skull, Azza Hilal Suleiman was unbowed, still speaking out. They were hitting a veiled woman, she says. They removed her veil and exposed the underwear she was wearing. This is the scene she was describing. A veiled Egyptian female protester being beaten by riot police. Dragged, partially stripped of her clothing, even stomped on. Oh. CNN received this video from a human rights activist. They kept hitting her, she says, so I ran and tried to cover her body and pull her out. They started beating us. Seen here in a red jacket, Azza tries to help the wounded woman. Security forces rush toward her, push her to the ground, then a merciless barrage. She sustains multiple blows to the head. These pictures show just some of her injuries. When we tracked Azza down, she wanted to speak to us. But when we arrived to the hospital for the interview, her condition had deteriorated. We're trying to get in to see Azza. Um, she's in that room. Uh, we actually hear screams emanating from inside that room. Uh, we've not been able to so far. The doctors that we've spoken with say that she needs to be taken to the ICU. A short time later, we're given access to her by family members. But Azza is in agony and can't speak with us. I can't take it, she says. I can't. I'm going to die. Have mercy on me. Well, Mohammed joins me now on the phone from Cairo. Mohammed, uh, have you had a chance to speak with the woman or her, or her family since you filed this story? How, how is she doing? Aisha, we just returned a short while ago from the hospital here in Cairo where Aza is. Uh, we had an exclusive interview with her. Um, she's doing much better than she was yesterday, but she's still in a lot of pain, uh, quite visibly suffering. Uh, we asked her first about um, how upset she is about what happened to her and about what's been going on in Egypt. Here's more of what she had to say. There's no justice. I don't know how long we'll go without justice. We didn't ask for anything more than to be free in our own country. We've been oppressed by the military, by the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, and by the police. I don't know how much longer they'll continue to kill us. How much longer will they continue to kill us? And Aisha, uh, we finally got some reaction about Aziz's case from the military here. An official told us that he wasn't aware of Aziz's case specifically, um, but if she is uh, from a military family, as Aziz claims that she is, then she's entitled to be transferred to a military hospital. Aisha. Mohammed, watching that brutal video in which Aza is being beaten and that other woman who we have yet uh, been able to, to, to catch up with, is there a sense that there's been a turning point in these clashes when you see that kind of brutality being brought down on women there in Egypt and their veils being, being pulled off and their clothes, you know, uh, taken off? I mean, what is your sense about what is happening and how this, this violence is evolving? Uh, Aisha, it, it has sparked so much outrage here this past week, these videos that have emerged, these horrific videos, these scenes of violence towards women, as you can imagine, in an Islamic culture uh, where conservatism is, pri uh, is, is prized. Uh, to see a woman not only being brutalized uh, out there in the open, uh, being dragged, being kicked, being stripped of clothing, it's shocking to people here. It sparked so much international condemnation as well. But what's interesting is, Far from being cowed or being afraid, women here have become emboldened. We're seeing more head out into the streets. The other day, almost 2,000 of them marching through Tahrir Square, the epicenter of the revolution here, saying it's time that Egypt had a civilian government, that women here be able to participate in political life more, and that the violence being practiced against them by the army and by the security forces stop immediately.